um, what's today? Thursday. <laughs> so I hope everyone's Thursday is going well. Um, I did get like a really late start today because I was up really late. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been good. I'm still finishing my coffee so that I'm not tired anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, of course, don't forget to drink water before you drink coffee. Um, but yeah, so I was doing, um, it's funny, like I was talking about this um, in my connect group last night um, about how, you know, like you can read the Bible your entire life, but you still find new things about it. It's like so awesome. Um, but yeah, because I mean, I started reading like the Bible when I was five. Obviously, it was like read to me before that. But, um, and I mean, the actual like original text, um, like KJV, um, like the real Bible. Like, I've been reading that since I was five. Because um, I actually started reading, like, just in general at two years old. But yeah, so like, but the Bible specifically, I started reading at five. Um, and it was funny because <laughs> I would always like want to read because we would like read a little bit like um, every night before bed and um, my siblings got so annoyed whenever I read like there was actually one time I remember like particular where I was like reading was it I think it was it was Matthew and if anybody has read like <laughs> which is funny because there's like a similar thing here in Luke which is what I'm, I'm doing now but um yeah literally like the first chapter in Matthew like right at the beginning it's like just the lineage you know like the family tree and stuff and so it's like I don't know and that's always like been really like I don't know that was that used to be really annoying to me and I was just like I don't get it like but obviously like you know you have to know family tree and everything and yeah um but so yeah, it was it was definitely it was Matthew reading, and so I started off reading, and obviously I was like a little, you know, and just learning how to like um, read big words and everything. Um, but so I was like reading really slow because you know, especially if anyone knows the original translation, you know KJV, which is obviously you should be reading that. But <laughs> um, yeah, like that's why now it's like I have no problem reading it because I've been reading it since I was five um but, um but what am I saying oh yeah because like it speaks in like you know like the old English um so I obviously on top of like the big words and then the old English you know it's like just learning how to read it it's like I would read slow um now I'm pretty much a fast reader but um yeah it's just funny um because so we're reading Matthew um, that night, and then, um, so I started off reading, obviously I was reading slow, and like, my siblings were getting so annoyed, like, and it's like, it's, it's funny, but it's not funny, because like, it's like, um, I literally told them, I was like, you only need to chill, like, we're reading the Bible, like, and then so like, I don't see y'all reading this, so, um, like, they would read, like, the children's version, <laughs> but, um, yeah, but, yeah, so then they got, finally got, like, super annoyed, and I think we got through, like, one chapter or something, and then finally my mom was like, okay, can I just take over from here now, <laughs> so, like, she was just kind of, like, like, obviously, she was like, happy that I was, like, learning how to, like, read and stuff, but, like, she didn't want to deal with, like, the other kids and, yeah, how they were acting, so, yeah, so she finished reading, um, a little bit that we were reading, and, but, yeah, so, that's, like, one thing that really sticks out to me, but, <laughs> uh, it was mostly my older brother, uh, which is super funny, because, like, he has changed so much, like, before he used to be, like, you know, like, irritated with, like, you know, someone reading the Bible slow or whatever like that. But now he's, like, super for God. And, like, he's going out and, like, wants to, you know, like, 
preach and everything, um, which is super awesome. Um, but it's just funny how you like, you know, people like change over the years. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys saw. So what I was basically getting on about in the beginning was, you know, learning something new. Um, even though you read it like a million times, or it's even one year I read it like the entire Bible three times. Um, it was for missionettes and stuff, and we, yeah. But um, I believe that was was it seventh or eighth grade? No, it was it was yeah. I think it was eighth grade um <laughs> but um yeah so um excuse me um but yeah so you just like learn something new every time and that's what happens when you live right by the street um but um yeah so apparently there's like 24 um chapters in luke which i never like realized before um so yeah so there was there's this like i guess challenge going around um and if you read i actually just read three chapters because i like started late but um so um if you read like a chapter a day in you know december because it's like the story of like jesus um or at least part of it's in here and then part of it's in Matthew, but like there's 20, the whole thing was like there's 24 <laughs> chapters. So if you read like a chapter a day, then it'll lead up to Christmas Eve. That'll be your lesson. And then the next day is Christmas. So then you just, you know, celebrate um, Christmas and the true meaning of Christmas really resonates um, a little bit more. Um, yeah, so I thought that was like really cool. Um, so I actually just read like the first three chapters um and it's funny like like i said you know more things stick out to you the more you read it <laughs> um but i think there was what was it so yeah so like chapter one is about you know like um when they get told about the births of john the baptist and jesus um and then of course mary visits elizabeth um, and then there's, like, the birth of John and then the birth of Jesus. Um, there was, like, something that I, I should have taken notes. <laughs> I was thinking about it and then I'm like, mm. there's only a couple things. Um, what was it? There was something about Mary and then... Hmm. Oh, that's what it was. It was so it was when she um like visited Elizabeth and you know how like she was called, you know, like highly favored by God and stuff and she was like, "Well, why am I like like why am I highly favored, you know?" Um so that just shows, you know, goes to show and there's like lots of examples of like so many people where like I mean, Mary was actually like a really good girl um but there's like even examples of like you know where god uses um you know because i mean we're all sinners in some way <laughs> shape or form but he's used like um i really love that saying where it's like broken crayons still draw or still color <laughs> or draw too you know um but yeah so it's like it's funny how you know she didn't see herself worthy you know, of, of bearing, you know, like carrying and bearing, um, Christ. Um, but God chose her and, um, yeah. So it's just like, you know, it's like, doesn't matter what's going on in your life, what, who you were before, you know, it's like, once you just like give your life to Christ, then it's, you know, like your purpose will be a, like a little bit more clear um and even though it's like he doesn't always like tell people like I really love this um youtuber that I'm following um her name is Heather Lindsay I love watching um 
in one of her um, either sermons or Bible studies every morning. Um, but yeah, it's like God doesn't always like show you like your like overall specific purpose, like your end goal, like you know, but he shows us like little things along the way and it's like if we just like put our faith in him like Mary did you know she was just like she's like a really good example of like a woman with a um quiet and gentle spirit um but yeah she just she heard the angel Gabriel out and then she like you know said you know like I'm here to be your servant you know <laughs> like um you know, like, she was just accepting of what the Lord, um, had to say, um, and his plans for her, um, and she, she went with it, she just gave up all control, and, I mean, she's the reason, like, she's not the reason, but, like, she's part of the reason why we're, why we have like forgiveness and we don't have to do you know like things that they did back in the um old testament um because if it wasn't for her you know like i guess you know um accepting you know like what um the lord had to to say and like his plans for her you know being the mother of Jesus um then he who knows he probably wouldn't have come you know um and we'd still be in the same position as they were back then um so yeah that's just something to think about you know it's like everything that you do in life you know has you know like the whole cause and effect thing so just be open to um what the lord has for you even though it may seem that you're in like a tough situation like you know he's placed you there for a reason and you're supposed to make a difference there so just yeah um and there was something else that stuck out to me um you don't it is so hot today um Oh, yeah, so it was about, like, when, um, you know, John the Baptist, you know, he had finally started, um, he was finally called to, um, start his ministry and, you know, like, to pave the way for Jesus, um, but... Oh, and that also brings up, like, another thought. It's it's really funny, and this is why, you know, like, God says, I believe that scripture is in Matthew. Yeah, yeah, Matthew 18 something. Um, but it's about, you know, like, um, oh my gosh, I just, okay, that's real life people. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I just cut my lip, but, um, okay. I'll clean that up later. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so it's, like, that's why, you know, God says, you know, like, do not hinder the children for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Um, and that's because children, I don't know if you feel it's like, you know, like, Back when we were children, like, our minds were open to all the possibilities, you know, and then as you get older, it's like, what happens to that, you know? Um, so, yeah, I don't know, it's like, children are just so, um, they're more, I guess, like, in tune um, with everything, um, especially, you know, like, their spirits. Um, and yeah, so it's just, I don't know. Like, I mean, who else doesn't get like super joyful when there's a baby around, right? So, um, like, 
they're like the epicenter of that like joy that we should have like all the time um you know and I don't know how to explain it but yeah <laughs> but yeah so it's just really funny how um when John was in his mother's womb and then Mary came to visit um he recognized you know that that was um, the mother of Jesus speaking, you know, and he was, like, in the presence of, um, Jesus. Um, but then when he gets older, um, he doesn't recognize him when he comes up to him, you know, um, to be baptized. Um, but, yeah, like, he just... I mean, I kind of get it. You were just, like, out in the wilderness. Like, you didn't, you didn't really, like, know your cousin throughout your life. Um, but still, I mean, you recognized him when you were in your mother's womb. So why can't you recognize him? Um, but that's, that's, like, the difference between children and, you know, adults. So that's just another thing to think about. Um... But what I was really, what really stuck out to me was, um, the part where it's, um, John 3, John 3, 16, no, sorry, why am I saying John? I'm saying John because his name is John. I'm so, <laughs> oh, I need to finish my coffee. Um, so it's Luke 3, verse 16, and it says John I'm sadly reading from NIV, um, because I don't have a physical KJ Bible, but, yeah, people need to stop giving me NIVs. <laughs> like, I've always been gifted NIVs, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, but, yeah, so it's, like, it's pretty similar, um, it's just a little different, but, yeah, so, we work with it. Um, but it says, John answered them all. I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I will come. Then I will come. The straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Winnowing, his winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the weeds into his barn. He will burn up the shaft with unquenchable fire. Oh my gosh. Stop bleeding. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if you guys have ever um, heard about when, you know, the first church, you know, um, they were all in the upper room, and I forget where that is in scripture, I just know my scripture, <laughs> it's like, I'm like, I can't tell you where it is, but I know, <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so they were in the upper room, and they were just, you know, like, they were fasting, and praying, and praising God, um, and then, I think it was, like, for three days, um, and, yeah, the Holy Spirit, um, you know, came on to them, and, you know, like, they were filled with the Holy Spirit, and then there was, like, a pillar of fire over their head, um, and so it's really funny how, because I've, like, heard this so many times from so many different, um, people, you know, like, Christians, in, or in particular, um, where it's, like, they're, like, um, you know, like, why do people use, you know, fire in reference to God, and that's, like, so bad, that's, like, a representation of hell, and blah, 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 and it's, like, um, first of all, who do you think created hell? <laughs> Second of all, um, like, they don't understand, like, the meaning, you know, of, like, there's different things, you know, like, there's obviously, you know, bad kind of fire, 
but then there's also a good fire and you want you want to be on fire for Christ um, and it's also you know think about um, like the example I usually use is um, a like silversmith um, you know in order to make that fine silver you know or jewelry whatever it is um, you know it has to be put into an extremely hot fire you know um, and it's cleansing it from all the impurities and stuff and that's what God does to us you know when he when we're filled with the Holy Spirit you know and we truly surrender you know our lives to Christ we you know it's like a new Christian you know where they're like so on fire for Christ and they're like you know they wanted to like just everything for him, you know, and stuff. But then it's sad that, like, after, you know, a while, then it's, like, your fire dwindles down. And it's, like, no, you want to keep that fire going. You know, if you want to jump around at church, go for it. <laughs> like, um, that's always been my mom. Um, but, <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, you know, um, just be you and allow... God to fill you, um, to surround you, you know, to be everything for you, and you'll definitely, um, see a change in your life, you know, but it's really sad that, like, this is what gets to me, it's like, you know, when Christian, this is why, like, people don't want to, you know, accept Christ and be a Christian, because, Christians or Christians are always, you know, like hating on each other and it's like um <laughs> no. Like it's well we're supposed to be the salt of the earth. We're supposed to be we're supposed to show God's light, you know, and how are you supposed to do that to others if you're hating on each other? Like that's gotta change, you know. Um but yeah. It's like, you know, yeah. So, I don't know, just, just some food for thoughts. Um, but yeah, if you guys, um, aren't doing, um, the Luke challenge this month, I definitely encourage you to, um, join me. Um, but yeah it's it's amazing like you know as I said again um how you learn new things as um the more you read um things over and over again um and yeah so anyway um hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day what time is it 242 um but um yeah so enjoy the rest of your day um and that's that's pretty much it <laughs> i'll see you guys later bye